This is the AVIT department, Westminster Computer Lab. Today we just want to give a quick lesson on how to uh, use uh, the printer uh, in the computer lab. There is a uh, printer in the located in the computer lab. It's a color desktop uh, printer, so you can print in color, black and white. Uh, in the future there might be other printers that are uh, uh, designated uh, that, that would be available for you to print to, but for right now we just use the printer that's in the uh, computer lab. I just want to show you uh, a useful feature. Uh, if you go to the menu accessories and manage print jobs, this is a useful little uh, p feature to, to uh, show uh, what print jobs are um, happening uh, currently on the system. And right now there is one that's in process. It indicates uh, the ink is low, but we ignore that. Uh, we're using recycling cartridges that give that message, so uh, we have no problem. Just ignore that uh, particular uh, warning. And it's indicating that uh, we already have a um, print job currently in the process. If we wanted to change the, if we wanted to cancel that print job for some reason, we could say cancel or delete. And we could view attributes to find out information regarding that print job. Right now it's indicating this is the only one that's being printed. So this is a very, very useful application to help control, um, uh, not only control the print jobs, cancel them, but sometimes, uh, for example, if there was a ink was out and uh, um, the, the, we had to put new uh, ink cartridges into the uh, printer, um, it may actually prevent the um, jobs from being printed out. Why? It'd be like a log jam. The one stopped printing hasn't been told to resume printing, uh, so therefore we have to uh, um, clear that log jam, which is to go to that particular print job and say, okay, we want you to resume printing, or what we call release for printing. Okay, let's pick up a document for printing right now. Uh, I'm going to go into the documents folder. You should have been told in a previous YouTube video that when you're creating work, you should save into the right location. Uh, the idea of everything and it's everything, a place for everything and everything in its place. And so uh, I've created an open office uh, write document. Um, and uh, if I point and double click, uh, this is document centric, meaning that it knows uh, the, what the file is and uh, will automatically launch the application and load it in. Just something to save one's time. I'll go to view, I'm just going to change the zoom to make it look a little more realistic to your typical editing session. Okay, if you're interested in printing right now, a couple of things. If you go to file, you can go to page preview. It gives you an overview of what it's going to look like uh, prior to sending uh, it to the printer. It makes it a little smaller. You sort of get an idea, an impression of what, what it looks like. If, it's, uh, in, if everything's in the proper page, and you can scroll down to the various pages. This is a very efficient way to quickly check before prior to printing. Click on close preview. Now when it comes time to actually do the print itself, you can go to File, Print. And here, prior to printing, you can go to Properties if you need to change the properties. You can select the paper size. By default, it's letter. But there are other um, selections that are there. Uh, the orientation, right now it's set to portrait, but we could change that to landscape if we wish. Normally this gets picked up automatically by the Open Office Writer default, so when you're creating your document select uh, pretty much these uh, selections. Then when it comes time to print, you just click on OK. I'm just going to quickly go over and now we see the print job here is in process. Again we could cancel or delete. If there were other print jobs that we could get to on time, we could actually place them on hold. If it looks like we're coming in and for some reason we're printing and nothing's being sent to the printer, check the cable connections. If you've checked that already, then the next thing I would do is uh, open up the print manager to see if you have a log jam here and have print uh, printouts that haven't been printed and select the, the first one for release. Once you've finished printing, then you can save and exit your, um, your um, open office writer document. And then, if this is at the end, make sure that the printer is powered off after the printout has been completed and uh, proceed with your regular session. If for some reason there are a lot of uh, printouts to be made, maybe it's not um, viable to uh, send to the printer in the computer lab, 
Uh, in that situation, you may want to use the Grab Work application that grabs the documents and saves it onto your USB stick so you can bring home and print on your own printer. Uh, that's helpful for the church because it saves money in printing and um, gives you a little bit more flexibility as an instructor. This is the AVIT department, just wishing you happy volunteering and uh, have a pleasant day.